All right, so at this point, we have completed seven out of the 10 new Super Battle Road stages on Global. I can almost see the finish line. We're getting very close, but of course, there's still work to be done. So without further ado, let's jump into stage 48, which is Rapid Growth. And it looks like we have no good Kefalas, but let me just quickly filter by Super SDR. And we have one Rainbow Kefala, there we go. And let me just quickly check how good this one is. Uh, that's not bad. Good skill orbs, good links. I'll take it. So this is the team, guys. We got the double STR Kefalas. We got, of course, LR Kellen Khalifla, Fizz Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Int Transforming Gotenks, Tech Transforming Gohan, and also the AGL Super Saiyan 2 Khalifla. And as always, the items are the same as always. Princess Snake, Aider, Icarus, and Whis. And uh, yeah, with that said, let's do this. Okay, so we got Kefla, Khalifla, and Kellen Khalifla in the first rotation. That's really good. Um, it looks like the other rotation is not as ideal because I do want to get the two Gotenks together eventually. But uh, for this rotation, I think I'm actually going to... Uh, let's take Kefla out and keep Khalifla and Kellen Khalifla together. Because honestly, Kefla like, can be a good unit, but... I don't find her that impressive unless you have an orb changer with her, right? Like a unit that can give her a lot of STR orbs or just same type orbs in general. Because a lot of times you can't get six orbs and in those situations, she's just okay. So uh, let's pop an Icarus first. And uh, I'll just give a couple to the Khalifla. Now, obviously I'm a little bit concerned about her taking a super, but she does have a, is it medium or high chance? Hold on. Uh, high chance to dodge attacks. So hopefully that activates if we do happen to take a super. Um, ooh, ooh, okay. So we can actually get a lot of orbs for the Kefla. That was lucky. Here we go. Good first rotation. Hopefully Khalifla does not get us killed immediately. <laughs> but I guess it is a possibility. Ooh, double super. So she raises her defense by, I believe, 60%. I think it's 60% for every super, so she would be really, really tanky with the double super. That's good, okay. Now Kellen Khalifla hopefully gets at least two supers. There's one. Give me one more, please. Okay, so just one super. And he's going to super us for a lot of damage, probably. Like a ton of damage. Yeah, okay. That was to be expected. That was to be expected. I'm not really uh, that surprised by that. I mean, obviously, I wish we wouldn't have taken as much damage, but what can you do, man? It is what it is. Like, there's no way to really predict where the super's coming. Um, at the very least, we're still, you know, over 50% HP. Uh, let me see about this turn. So for this turn, I think I'm going to leave it as is. Because, uh, you know, obviously, STR Kefla is the weak link here on defense. The Gotenks at least has type advantage. So I'll give these to him. And then obviously Gohan's going to be fine too. I'm not really concerned about Gohan's defense at all. And we still have the Icarus active, so we're good to go. Even if one of these guys takes a super... Uh, it won't be too bad. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Solid, solid tanking right there. Can Kefla give us an additional super? No, not quite. That's okay. Ooh. Okay, so at this point... <laughs> Not gonna lie, I'm starting to run out of things to say when we do these videos, just because we've been doing so many of them um, in a row, you know, like for the past, uh, how many days now? Like three or four days, we've done seven of these. And, uh, you know, even though like every stage is kind of different, they're also like a lot of the same. So 
Uh, at this point, it's just like, I want to get these over with. You know, I like Super Battle Road. I think it's fun, but also, um, I think I've had enough. <laughs> I think I've had enough. Okay, we'll give one orb to Khalifla. That's going to be an 18k super <clears throat> for killing Khalifla. And, ooh, 11k super for Gotenks. Okay, that's got to be enough to finish him off. I actually, I actually really don't like these single enemy stages just because the single enemies are always so scary, right? They always have so much HP, and they also always hit much harder than, um, you know, multi-enemy stages. So, yeah, hopefully the later ones have multiple enemies. I, I didn't really check uh, what the other phases look like, but I'm hoping that it's not just like single enemy, you know, across the board. We're about to find out though. That was the first one. Not terrible. Okay, so we got Roshi here. Does anybody come with him? Oh, okay. We got two. We got two. This rotation sucks. Oh my god. Oh my god. This rotation is bad. Uh man, I'm really worried about everybody, basically. Let me think about this for a second um I mean none of these guys are great defensively right now I probably want to put go tanks at least where there's most attacks because he does greatly raise defense but at the same time I want to have the go tanks rotation so I don't want to put him in the third slot but there are so many attacks in the third slot like this oh Okay, so what we're going to do is reinforce these guys a lot. Let's do uh, the Whis, and then let's also pop an Android 8, just for extra defense. Um, that's going to make us quite a bit more tanky, and I think I think we'll be okay with that. I don't know, man. Fingers crossed. We'll find out soon. Okay, so obviously we're going to go for Roshi here, and then... Well, that's messed up. Okay, so no super for Khalifla. Or sorry, Kefla. Uh, you do. Maybe an additional super. If we're lucky. Oh, by the way. <laughs> total tangent. Total. Uh, totally random. But for those of you that watch the NBA, uh, specifically yesterday, the Lakers and Pistons game, things got a little crazy, man. I, I was watching it live in the gym, and... I was like, yo, this is, this is nuts. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe I should focus on the, the game right now <laughs> as opposed to the game yesterday. Um, but no, seriously, that was, that was pretty nuts. Um, the Isaiah Stewart, LeBron, scuffle, or whatever you want to call it, it, it gave me shades for sure of the uh, Malice in the Palace, right, between Detroit and the Pacers a long time ago. And obviously it did not get anywhere close to that bad, but you could tell like people were freaking out. Like they were, the, the announcers were like, people do not get out of your seats, do not go on the court, do not throw things at the at the court, at the players. Because they were like, yo, like we, we've seen something like this before. <laughs> so uh, yeah, it was a good time. Good time. Go check it out if you guys haven't seen it. Um, it was, you know, one of the more entertaining things I've seen in, in basketball in a little while. <laughs> And like, you know, nothing crazy really happened at the end of the day, like they did restrain everybody and like, I think I got sorted out, but um, there might be some suspensions, I think, from that, just because of how crazy, you know, the situation kind of became, I guess. Uh, okay, one sec, let me focus on the game, the run right now, because I don't want to die. Uh, our defense is looking quite good, so I think we should be fine to just, you know, proceed without any additional help, without any additional uh, reinforcement, I guess. Okay, yeah, I, I think we'll be fine. So anyways, um, like the craziest part, right, of that, of that situation was just the fact that like, Stuart, after he got restrained by people, he just like wouldn't stop, you know, like he, he would pretend that he was like chill. He's like, I'm good, I'm good guys, like, don't worry about it. And then he would just charge again, right? And he did it like three times. This guy just kept coming and coming and... That did not come out right. 
I just heard it. I just heard it. Does not sound good. <laughs> you know what I mean though, right? He just kept like trying to attack LeBron. And uh, every time like people thought he was good, they thought it was like safe, he would just like go at him again. It was like pushing people out of the way left and right. Uh, it was like I was watching like a football game <laughs> on a basketball court. So uh, yeah, that was interesting. That was interesting for sure. Uh, ooh, okay, so Roshi is supering us for 65 damage. Good job, Gohan. Very good job. And now we finally have our Go Tanks rotation. Man, it took us so long to get here. Damn, it took us like half the video basically. All right, so we got some transformations. Um, let me see what I want to do here. I feel like I should pop an item. Um, I don't know which one. Let's let's pop a Princess Snake. Pop a Princess Snake. I do want that additional damage reduction. And let me think about this real quick. Uh, we have the dodge chance with Go Tanks, which is thirty percent. But we do also. Oh no, never mind. He does not raise uh, defense on his super. It's actually this guy that raises defense. So maybe I should put this guy in the front first. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. We can do that. So I'll give just one orb to him. Uh, we will give these to go tanks. And then we can still get a super for Kefla. Although I'm hoping that the go tanks is will just take out the old man. That we can move on from there. Oh, we got the stun, actually. I keep forgetting this guy can stun. <laughs> I keep forgetting this guy can stun. Okay, so we got the stun. We don't, we don't really have to worry about anything on this turn. I really did not have to use the, the Princess Snake, but I guess, like, we also didn't know that he was going to stun. Like, it was not guaranteed. So if he didn't get the stun off, maybe he still would have supered us. And if we died to that super... That would have been a shame. So I think I ultimately made the right decision. All right, last phase, guys. Last phase, we got uh, two damage reduction items left. I'm gonna pop the Whis first, and um, yeah, I'm okay with this play. Maybe I want to put Khalifa in the middle. Yeah, let's put Khalifa in the middle, and we'll go for Grandpa Gohan. Let me give just one orb to Khalifla, and can we give six? Oh, we can. That is beautiful. Okay, we'll give seven orbs to Kefla to get her full passive. There we go. All right, so we kill Grandpa Gohan this turn, and then there's only one enemy, and uh, the rest of the stage should be pretty chill. We get one more super, though. That would make me feel pretty confident. Oh, okay, so no additional super that's fine that's fine i would feel really good if khalifla got two supers oh okay there we go thank you thank you finally one of my units dodged a super attack man like even when they dodged in the past it was always just normals it's like you have the same chance to dodge normals and supers but for some reason you just refuse to dodge super attacks you just love eating super attacks. I don't understand. All right. Uh, let me think about this for a second. So, Go Tanks obviously raises defense, but only after he supers. So there's a lot of attacks in the first slot. But then again, this guy has type disadvantage to Grandpa Gohan, and if Grandpa Gohan supers first, that could be bad. So. Yeah, okay, we're gonna we're gonna leave Int Go Tanks in the first slot. Um, I'm not super confident in this decision, but uh, I think that is the move. And oh crap! I should have targeted. Is it a Nin? A nin how do you, how do you say her name again? A Nin. A hmm. I don't remember. I know it's A N N I N, right? Anin. Wait, no. I read somewhere her name was based off almond. 
Well, maybe it's all all nin. No, whatever. You guys know what I'm, who I'm trying to talk about. Um, the girl. And uh, yeah, I, ma I made a mistake because I should have targeted her instead of Grandpa Gohan. Uh, but what can you do? What's done is done. What's done is done. Can we kill him? Ah, oh, he's still alive. He's still alive. And now we're gonna get supered for probably a bunch of damage. Oh, you know what? I forgot. It's Gohan. Of course he doesn't take damage. <laughs> Even with type disadvantage. There's no such thing as type disadvantage to tech Gohan because he guards everything. So yeah, I was I was concerned about for nothing. Um let's pop an Android 8. And then we're gonna pop an Icarus just to be extra, extra safe. And uh yeah, we should be fine after that. So let me actually put Khalifla in the first slot. So she doesn't hit as hard, but she will be enough to finish off the Grandpa Gohan. And then uh, I'm trying to see. Well, I was trying to see if I could actually get like a bunch of orbs for the Kefla, but literally we could not. We do have a Dokkan attack coming up though. Not that I think we really need it. But it's good to have. If we have a Dokkan attack for the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, then I think he will just, you know, finish her for us. Alright, so one more turn, guys, and then we are done with this stage as well. Only two more to go. Only two more to go. We're making good progress. We're almost at the finish line. But we can't relax until, you know, the work is done. So, uh, I'm not gonna think about that for now, but I am very excited to get another LR in my collection. The new STR LR trunks with the, with the Bulma. Uh, that's gonna be LR number 85, I think, on global, of course. And that would mean I'm still only missing two LRs, I think? I think it's two. Maybe three. I know I don't have Tapion and Minosha, and I'm still missing Gohan and Go Tanks. Or so, well, no, what am I saying? Gohan and Krillin. <laughs> Gohan and Krillin. I have Go Tanks on my mind because, of course, you know we have two Go Tanks here. But no, Gohan and Krillin we're still missing. So, uh, yeah, yeah. After I get the STR trunks, I'll only still be missing those two, which I'm sure I'll get. Sometime soon. Sometime soon. Ooh, she's gonna super us. Okay. Okay, let's see what this does. 29k. Yeah, that's that's fine. I'm okay with that. Although I thought she was gonna be closer to dying um, after that token attack. I don't think there's any cause to be concerned. Uh, but still, I thought she'd be dead this turn, to be honest. Alright, well, let's let LR kill and Khalifla finish the deed. And uh, that will be that for the rapid growth stage of Super Battle Road. Let me know in the comments how far you guys have uh, proceeded through these new stages. How many stages have you completed so far? Obviously, for you know some people, I know that you just don't have the teams for certain stages, which is fine, right? Because... Super Battle Road is an event that's meant to challenge you. It's meant to be completed over the course of, you know, many months or whatever the case may be, right? And um, if you can't beat something, just be patient. Eventually, you will get the units. You will get the, you know, proper team to get it done. So it's not a big deal. But there you go, guys. That is Rapid Growth number 48. And let me just collect my rewards real quick. There we go. And uh, that is number eight down, two more to go. I will see you guys very soon for those two remaining stages. Maybe today, I might finish it out today. I'll think about it. At least one more though. At least number nine will be done today. Maybe number 10 tomorrow. I'm not sure, but uh, I'll see you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. If you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. If it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button. 
to join the Tiger Squad now. While you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.